Hi, my name is Colin Skipperwing Bird, and welcome to Skipperwing Draws a Thing, where I, you know, draw a thing, or multiple things, as the case may be. And speaking of multiple things, today's video features my action jacket brothers, the 10th Doctor and Arsene Lupin III. That's probably a butchering of his name, but I don't really care. So yeah, I got to doing this when I started thinking about how Lupin and um, the Doctor always seem to be running around in suit jackets, but it's never really worked against them. And it makes sense for Lupin, because he's a, he's a cartoon character. I could He could run around in a bikini, and he would still be fine. Um, however, with the Doctor, as a live-action character, have you tried doing anything in a suit other than walking and talking? I mean, yeah, you can do some groovy dance moves, but even then, you kind of either have to loosen your shirt or um, take off the tie or whatever you have to do to get comfortable. There's not really me they're not really meant for you to to uh, to do anything actiony. And yes, while the doctor's plans usually consist of, in his words, um, talk a lot, hope something happens, take all the credit. There's still a fair lot of running the, uh, involved. So I said, eh, why not do a joke about it? I mean, really, the main difference between their wardrobes is that Lupin wears his jacket open while the Doctor wears his closed. And I'm pretty sure that Tennant's wearing a custom suit, because that's the only way I can see that working without super shoulder pads. As for this doodle, I decided, well, I'd do it in Photoshop. Um, I had a commission last week, um, that was going to be last week's video, but that just didn't pan through. I was not in a really good mood last week. And I did that in Photoshop, and I started to try and push the techniques that I did in that video, um, more to, uh, in this week's video. Rather than just defaulting to Flash, and just going from there. That might be a regular thing, uh, where Skipper Wing Draws a Thing is done in Photoshop, while the Crimson Fly is done in Flash. Make, makes me makes might make me a more versatile artist. I don't know. Um, something else I tried out this week was to try and do commentary while I was working, and that was went well for the first half hour. But then I ran out of things to talk about, mostly because I would just I was just talking to myself, and I don't really have anything to say. I mean, I have a lot to say. That's why I'm doing commentary, but. It doesn't really, running commentary doesn't work if you don't have anybody to bounce off of. That's why they have usually two people in a, in a booth during, during news sessions. So, instead, um, I decided to go back to the traditional format, but with a twist. This week's video will also be accompanied by a um, non-commentary track just to test out the waters and see how that goes. Um, let me know in the comments which one you like best. There will be an annotation in this video, and there will also be an annotation in the non-commentary video looking back to this video. So, more on this. Um, when it came to filling in the lights, I put in a gray um, background underneath this, uh, underneath the, the ink line, so that way I could figure out where my lights and shadows were going. Because if you're just painting on a pure white background, the white is already filled in. Whereas if you're um, if you're on a gray background, you can not only can you fill in your shadows, but you can also fill in your lights as well. So I like to switch to to sketch on. Well, I don't like to sketch on gray. I obviously didn't do it for this picture, but when I do remember to, I like to have that ink paper first, so that way I can get the broad spectrum of colors rather than just the default white. Um. Something else I played with in this uh, in this video is instead of just having white and black as my shad as my light and darks, I decided to go with um, contrasting colors on the color wheel. So because most of the characters are wearing blue, that was kind of out. So I decided to go to go one over on the color wheel and go with a purple. And the opposite of that on the, co on the color wheel is yellow. I think it's either complementary or tertiary. Somebody correct me in the comments. And I think that that gave that a little bit of tone. But to push the tone more further, I gave it a sort of light gradient pass over top of the entire thing to give it a bit of atmosphere and give a little bit of context to the why the I picked the yellow and the purple. Um, and admittedly, there's a few flubs in this as well. Uh, their heads are too big for one thing, and the TARDIS is kind of small. If Tennant were to stand up, he'd reach the the tall the top of the of the TARDIS. But I think overall, I did a pretty decent job. What do you think? Decent job. And...
And that's it for today's pick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment about what you'd like to see me draw next. If you're new, please subscribe for more content. This is Colin Skipperwing Birds signing out, and I'll catch you peeps later.